animated films here, but which were made by the Disney studios and which were not. Okay? Answer, Disney did, if they were made by the Disney studios, and Disney didn't, if they weren't. Alan, the Black Cauldron. Disney did. Yes, they did. Anne, Gulliver's Travels. Disney did. Didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, a fella called Max Fleischer, or Fleischer did it. No. So, Shelley, The Sword in the Stone. Disney did. Yeah, he did. Animal Farm, Alan. Disney didn't. No, that was Hallas and Bachelor. <coughs> the Great Mouse Detective, Shelley. Disney did. Yep. Alan, the Fox and the Hound. Disney didn't. Oh, yes, he did. Watership Down. Disney didn't. No, Martin Rosen. The Rescuers. Disney did. Yep. An American Tale. Disney didn't. No, Steven Spielberg did. Yes, You're in the lead with ten seconds on the clock. <laughs> Right, so we'll go back to Anne. Believe it or not. This is all about believe it or not. I'll read you something. You tell me if it's true. Okay. Very simple. Just yes or no. The true meaning of Wally is strong and good looking. Yes. Yeah. Shelley, what's that on the front? Andrew. It's what? Andrew, the good luck troll. Oh, is it? Mm. It's like he's had a bit of a shock. <laughs> Probably looked round and found his name's Jeremy. Anyway, right. <laughs> Shelley. The Chinese are breeding sheep which produce a wool and polyester mix. Yes or no? No. No, they're not. But they will if they watch this programme. <laughs> Alan. Nuneaton in Warwickshire got its name from an order of nuns who fasted for one week each month. No. What took you so long to work that out? <laughs> Eaton. Anne, the pigeon English word for pocket is basket belong trouser. No. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Shelley. <laughs> In Korea, the sound of music was shown without the songs. True. Yes. <laughs> Must have just been billed up as the sound of... <laughs> Alan. The average warthog has 6,000 warts. Nah. Nah. Well, that's close enough to oh, know. Sorry. Now, Shelley. <laughs> Ken Dodd actually lives in Naughty Ash. False. He does, you know. He does. He does. Yeah, where do you live, Alan? <laughs> Not Naughty Ash. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just round the corner, though, I'll tell you. You're on your own now, Alan. Pomme d'amour, literally translated, means jacket potato. <laughs> False. That's right. The first English banknote was bigger than a tablecloth. False. Good answer. On 12, 2, Shelley's just in the lead with 14 on the clock. <laughs> Michael, would you like books, television, or places? Places. Places. <laughs> places. Places? Which former royal palace has a famous maze? Oh. <laughs> former palace. Former palace. 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 Give me palace. palace. Windsor, it's Buckingham it's Palace. It's Blenheim it's Palace. It's uh, <laughs> I don't know. Hampton Court. Oh. Yeah. Hampton Court. Alan and Karen, books or television? television? Television, please. Yep, here we go. In keeping up appearances, what is Hyacinth's surname? Bouquet. Bouquet. Oh, right in the back, then. Yeah, good one. <laughs> Shelley and Jeremy. Here we go. What was the name of the pirate ship in Peter Pan? No idea. Bounty, mutiny. Black Bez. Um, no idea. Hispaniola. Very good. Pirates. The pirate ship. What do they call the flag? Jolly Roger. Ah. That's the name of the ship. Never mind. You're on 14 hands on two. New leaders, Alan and Karen on 22. <laughs> All righty. And 
And I've got farmyard as a title here. All the following are either breeds of cattle or breeds of sheep. You decide whether it's <laughs> cattle or sheep and go moo for the cattle and <laughs> bah for the sheep, okay? okay. Merino. Bah. 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 Yeah, a bit more of a quirk. <laughs> right, Shelley. Cheviot. Boo. No, boo. <laughs> Surprise, boo to you too. Yeah. But no, it's actually a bah. Okay. Alan. Blackface. Bah. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Anne. Charolais. Bah. No, it's a silly boo. move. Right. <laughs> Holstein. No. Corridale. No. Bad boy, you got the wrong one, but you're in the lead on 26. Give them all a round of applause, they change their places. Okay, we're back with part two of Every Second Counts, but if you're interested in coming on and playing the game in the next series, because this is the last one of this one, all you've got to do is write to this address I've got here. It's Every Second Counts, Contestant Research, BBC Television Centre, Wood Lane, London, w one two seven. R J, and then who knows? Maybe next year I'll be talking to you face to face. That'd be nice. At the moment, I'm talking to Karen, Michael, and Jeremy face to face on 26, 4, and 14 respectively. And with four seconds of time for correct answers now, believe you me, scores change rapidly. I'm going to play with Michael first. <laughs> Michael, uh, you're on four. Let's see what you can do with allotments. Which of the following would you find at your allotment, and which have we made up? Answer in your best gardener's voice. That'd be right, sir. <laughs> That's going to be fun for you, Michael. <laughs> right. And, uh, oh, well, no, that'd be wrong, sir, if you would not find it in your allotment. Now, we'd best get you dressed for the part, I think. <laughs> and uh, what we got here <laughs> is some typical gardener's hats, all right? That's for you. Yes, that's for you. I think, uh, I think that suits you best with a flower on, don't you think? Yeah? yeah. And uh, what about that? <laughs> yeah, lovely. Definitely. Those? Yes, it actually it goes with your blouse. Now, <laughs> <laughs> you look like Robin Hood the way you're wearing that. Oh, dear. Okay. Michael, blossom end rot. That'd be right, sir. Oh, ah, that'd be right. That'd be tomato disease, that'd be. Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy. He's <laughs> <laughs> got an old for me bald patch, look. <laughs> Can you turn your head down to dim? Now, here we go, right. <laughs> Jeremy. Trench foot. Uh, oh, no, that'd be wrong, sir. Oh, ah. You, you got that in the First World War, I think. <laughs> right. Karen. <laughs> 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 you look like someone out of the Wizard of Oz. Now, Karen. Like out the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Bastard trenching. That'd be right, sir. Oh, wow, that'd be right. It'd be a digging system be, that yes. ain't normal, see? <laughs> Michael, pendulous droop. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be wrong, that'd sir. That'd be wrong, sir. <laughs> No, 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 not that'd be wrong, sir. It's that'd be wrong, sir. I don't have that accent yet. <laughs> oh. Jeremy, basic slag. <laughs> that'd be right, sir. Yes, it'd be. That'd be right. And I know I will. Yeah. <laughs> You'll probably know that because it's fertilizer. <laughs> well, I'll be in it when I get home and all. You've been in it since you got here. Right? Karen. <laughs> Karen, crumbling piles. Oh. That'd be wrong, sir. Ah, well. <laughs> Michael, blotchy ripening. Uh, that'd be wrong, sir. Oh, no, you get that with uneven ripening. She can't reach it, hit you, fortunately. Right, Jeremy, bladder blight. <laughs> That be right, sir. No, that bait be right. Karen, cock chafer. <laughs> that be right, sir. Oh, ah, you can get that on your allotment. Apparently, <laughs> it's a beetle which attacks crops, making you in the lead, Karen, with thirty-eight on the clock. <laughs> right.
round of applause for Jeremy. They only have to made it here. <laughs> Failed frisbee throwers. <laughs> okay, what do we do next? Actresses. Okay, you all have to dress up as actresses. No, you don't. <laughs> Michael, I'm starting with you. You're on 12, 22, 38. Those are the scores.